Hi, my name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and this is an unboxing of the Moto G 62 5G. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you get in the box, as well as tell you some of the numbers and the truth behind those numbers, because numbers don't always reveal the full truth now, do they? I've just had a girlfriend, and this is on a side note, that wouldn't allow me to slam. So please help me slam at the end of this video, okay? Slam! Let's get to it. Okay, first off, incredibly fluid 120 hertz display. Stereo speaker with Dolby Atmos 15 megapixel camera system. Just so that you don't get blown away by these stats. Let's just see the last stat you get on this. It's four gigs of RAM and 65 gigabytes of internal storage. It's also available in 128 gigabytes of internal storage version. Now, when it says on the casing, and I've unboxed a lot of motor roller phones incredibly fluid 120 hertz display that doesn't mean a thing it's just the <laughs> marketing department going nuts try to differentiate the phone in some way matter or form so there we have it Plastic, ooh, and this is what I love about Motorola and also some other brands that it comes with an in-case protective shield cover. Oh yeah, we love this a lot. I must say it's actually very pretty, but kind of reminiscent of if you're a contact user now, you know what people who have vision impaired people have to deal with. This kind of blurry thing at the end of the night. That's how it looks when you wear contact lenses. Slam! I love unboxings, by the way, if you can't tell. Let's just get the boring bit out of the way first. You get the SIM card ejection tool, you get a small leaflet, read me it says, and now the legal safety regulatory information. And what else do you get in the box? Well, it's actually the old USB-A to USB-C connector that you get in the box, and that means this is gonna be, yep, yeah, exactly as I thought, USB-A in this end. Let's just see how many, oh my God. Motorola have surprised me so many times positively with their charging bricks, but not with this one. A 10 watt charger, that is a big letdown, I must say. We'll just peel it. Okay, are you ready for this? And listen. And I can see immediately from my angle, the screen is just fine and no troubles whatsoever. Let's just take a quick look at what we got on the sides. SIM card ejection tray on this side. On the top you have a speaker and you have a mic hole. Then you have up and down volume button. That actually sounds very nice and sturdy. At the button you have another speaker and you have a USB-C, you have another mic and you have a 3.5 millimeter jack socket. Hooray! I would actually call that a clear slam. Slam! Okay, and remember to help me slam at the end of the video. Let's fire this screen up and I'll have a look at this. The reason why I'm being very suspicious of Motorola when they're claiming, well, almost anything, but especially also with the screen, is that I've had the Moto G60 and that was a foul and a miss, as you would say in snooker. That's a it was such a letdown for the entire experience of the phone that you couldn't really recommend it at all. So now let's have a look at the screen. I'll just have a look at the screen from my angle and I'll try to just install my motor setup on this phone and I'll get back to you in a mo. Okay, so this is not an excessive amount of talking the phone, I should say, and still look at how those viewing angles are. Right, let's take some of all the stats, the price, and it comes in around $200 if you live in the US, just a little a bit above, and here in Denmark, it's even more expensive. But the thing is, and I wanna point that out right here from the start, if you can get this one secondhand, the Samsung Galaxy A52S 5G, then I would be hard pressed not to recommend this over <laughs> this phone I must say already from now this one's got an excellent screen AMOLED screen and not that fooling around with you know false sales advertisements by the way we really should have a slam for that false advertising shouldn't we and now I'll just talk to you a bit about this phone so it's released in July of 2022 it weighs 100 and 
84 grams. It comes with a glass front, plastic frame, plastic back. It has hybrid dual SIM. And this is what I just want to show you right here. So you can either put dual SIM in or you can put a SIM and an SE card in this little slotty slot. <laughs> it's a 6.5 inch 1080p times 2400 pixels. It's a 20 to 9 ratio aspect and it comes in at 405 ppi. And you know, you would be completely sold into the, you know, the camera, uh, the, the screen layout, right? This is a red herring of false advertising. If you want to see a first impressions video of this very phone, that's a continuation of this unboxing, then please do click the video over here. If you want to see a complete review, click the video up there. And if you want to see a camera review of the phone, click the video right up there. And now, by the grace of God, help me slam. Slam! Da 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 da